ES Audio. Hello, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, Space Probe captures image of Solar Hedgehog. But first, the new president of Costa Rica has declared his country is at war with a ransomware group which has been carrying out cyber attacks on the country's government. The cyber criminal gang known as Conti has disabled agencies across the government since April using ransomware attacks. Costa Rican President Rodrigo Chavez, who began his four-year term just 10 days ago, said that Conti was receiving help from people within the country and called for support from international allies. It's after the ransomware group made a statement that it planned to overthrow the government by means of a cyber attack demanding a government ransom of $20 million. Apple has been praised for introducing a series of new features designed to make life easier for people with disabilities. The one where it's saying it can now recognise a door within a building and actually tell you, which is quite amazing, tell you whether it's open or closed, but not only that, actually be able to work out through artificial intelligence that it's got a door handle that you're going to have to open or you just need to push it. That's phenomenal, isn't it? Cameron Malik is CEO of Disability Rights UK, who said new features like voice controls, eye tracking and door detection for the blind normalises accessibility tools. We only have to think about, you know, voice activation software on your phone. Great for disabled people, but great for so many of us. You might use it when you're driving, but you might equally use it if you're blind. And that's what I mean by normalising accessibility aspects. But it's not just him who's impressed by the tech. Nimi Patel from Tech UK leads a business forum on accessible technology. She says companies are always looking for ways to make people's lives that bit easier. What we're learning through the forum is the experiences of persons with disabilities. And we found that many deaf people in the UK, English is a second or third language. So that content written in English can often present a barrier. So all these tools are fantastic to remove communication barriers. Now, a solar flare, a solar hedgehog, and a new wide-angle shot of the sun. They're just some of the recent pictures taken by the European Space Agency's probe, which is getting pretty close to the sun. What they've called a solar hedgehog appears to be the highlight, showing a spiky-looking part of the star made up of hot and cold gases. But at this point, it remains a mystery. No one knows how or why it forms. You can find a link to the pictures in our show notes. Boeing and NASA are getting ready to launch a test flight of the Starliner spacecraft to the International Space Station. It'll be unmanned and will launch just before midnight tonight, UK time. If it's successful, it's expected to pave the way for a crewed test mission later this year. NASA hopes to use Starliner as a second spacecraft to ferry astronauts to and from the ISS. The EU has revealed more details about how it plans to stop using Russian gas. It's revealed plans to speed up its shift to green energy, but also invest in gas pipelines in other countries. Officials are also planning long-term energy efficiency measures, like cutting VAT rates on energy-efficient heating systems, insulation and appliances. At the moment, Russia supplies 40% of the EU's natural gas and 27% of its imported oil. Let's go to the ads now. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science. Plus, how WhatsApp might help you to quietly leave a group chat. Why not hit follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Life just got a bit easier for electric car owners in the UK. Tesla has opened up its superchargers to all EVs, so they're no longer exclusively for Tesla owners. They've been opened up to all drivers in countries like Spain, Sweden and Austria as well. As the firm said, it hopes to encourage more people to drive electric. The company is also hoping to expand further with more charging points in the future. And finally, WhatsApp is reportedly working on a new feature that lets you leave a group chat without alerting the other members. That's according to experts at WA Beta Info who search early beta versions of the app to look for upcoming features before they're released. They said group admins will still be able to see who leaves the group though. So far, there's no official confirmation or release date for the change to the app. Uh. 
You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast for the latest news and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.